In the previous lecture, we saw how to create a React application using create React app package. Now that we have created a sample application, in this one, we'll take a look at how we can run this application and what are the files, what is the sequence hierarchy, how this whole application gets executed and is presented in the browser. So here, you can see that in order to execute this or run this, all I need to do is run the command npm start by first of all visiting into this directory. So let me close this one and open up a terminal. And here I'll go inside the directory, the application directory. So here it will say skill bakery slash pwa. And once you are inside that directory, all you need to do is run this command npm start that will launch the web application. And there you go. This is the application that is running. And you can see that the path is shown over here on your local environment. This is the path which you need to type in the browser or on your network. You can type in this one. If you want to build it for production, make use of the npm run build. So those are the instructions that come up when you compile it successfully. Now, if you take a look at this index.html file which resides inside the public directory, you'll notice there's hardly anything except that there's a div with an ID called root. And if you open it directly in the browser, this will be like an empty HTML page. It requires a couple of things. The first is the manifest.json file which I've opened over here. And you can see that it kind of provides all the icons logo, the display theme color and background color. So all these things are coming from the manifest.json file, which is used over here as link rel manifest. href is then provided the public URL refers to the public directory and then the manifest.json file. Now after this, you need to go inside the SRC directory and there you'll find this file called index.js. And when you open this file, you'll notice that we are importing few elements like react react dom the index.css, the app component, and the service worker. Now, here if you see, it says react dom.render, and then we are rendering the app component. And the place where it is getting rendered is the div with the ID root. So that's all we are doing over here. We are just creating one component called app, and then we are rendering it inside the div with an ID root. Now, if I open up this app component which is inside the app.js file you'll notice that it first of all imports react then the logo and the css file and here we have created a function with the same name function app and this is returning a div that is all it is doing it's just returning a div now within that div we have some more html content and it is over here we have this header and then the logo and then it also says that if you need to make changes, you can go ahead and, you know, edit the app.js file, which currently we are viewing. And then we have this anchor tag with the app link react.js.org and then learn react as a text. And that's pretty much it in order to create a component. That is all you need to do. You just need to return this. And then over here, you need to write export default and then the name of the component that's app over here. So that's what we are doing with the app component. And then finally, we are rendering it in the index.html page inside that div with an ID root. So here, if I inspect it, you'll notice this is the div ID root. And just inside that, we have this div class app. And these are the script files being generated by the runtime itself. So you can go ahead and make some more changes over here. something of this sort, save it. And then when you'll come over here, that change is shown over here on that page. So that was a quick overview of all the files that gets created and the hierarchy in which they are executed.